Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing and tonight I am going to make some homemade laundry soap. Now I do mine a little bit different than a lot of other people. When you look at other recipes online, most people are measuring out specific amounts and grading soap and I stopped doing that. I used to make liquid laundry detergent a couple years ago, probably about three years ago or so is when I started making laundry detergent three, four years ago. And the laundry, the liquid worked really, really well, but it's super heavy. Um, I made probably two five gallon buckets at a time, and then I would put that into gallon containers, and you'd have to store that. And that was really heavy, and it took up a lot of space. So I started experimenting with a couple of powdered uh, variations of it. And I've always liked liquid better, just in the past, whenever I would buy laundry detergent. But I decided to give this a try. Now I have been doing this recipe for probably a year or two now and it works really well and there's no measuring required. Just super super simple and it's all the same basic ingredients that you see other people, other Pinterest, um, other YouTubers use. It's just I don't measure anything. I buy everything by the box and mix it by the box so that it is simple to do. Um, the first thing is the, of course, the Arm & Hammer washing soda. Have one box of this. One box of regular baking soda. One box of borax. And I buy this, it's the Zote soap that's already pre-ground. I spend a whole dollar, maybe, if that, for buying it like this when it's already ground up probably less than a dollar because this was only like two dollars and I want to say 23 cents or something at Walmart and regular Zote soap is a dollar a bar normally so one box equals two bars so I may have spent 25 cents extra but it's already all graded up into flake form for me super fine so I just buy it like this and this I buy at Dollar Tree. Um, it's the Oxygen Orange. It's like the same thing as the OxyClean. And you can get the OxyClean there, but they just had the OxyClean in a smaller container and I wanted the bigger one. So I bought one of these. And it, it says it's totally awesome Oxygen Orange, but it does not smell like orange. You don't smell any sort of orange scent in it. And if you wanted to admit this, you can. I just like adding this little extra boost into mine. And then something like this. You could either use fabric softener beads, like the Gain. Um, I, this is expensive. This is probably like six or seven dollars for this size container. So I reserve the fabric softener for our nice clothes and our nice towels to, to use just on those things exclusively. If I am washing, say, rugs, or blue jeans or shop towels it does not need to have the expensive fabric soft in it um, this makes your clothes smell excellent but it's really expensive so in our general wash i put something like this in it and i get these from dollar tree or i buy generic from family dollar dollar general or i just omit this altogether. and it's a fragrance fragrance booster um, or fabric softener mixed together. They had these on sale at Dollar Tree, so I think I stocked up on like six or seven of them. And I'm gonna add that into this batch. I live in Florida, and we have Florida humidity. If we leave our clothes in the washer outside, now in the house is different than outside. My washers are on our back porch. If at the end of the cycle, I leave the clothes in the washer for say 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and don't immediately swap them into the dryer, they are gonna sour, they're gonna get musty, and I'm gonna have to rewash everything all over again. So I found that if I put something like this in it, it gives me that 15 minutes of grace or so I need sometimes to go switch the clothes over. But if I wait too long, that's it. I'm just gonna have to rewash everything. So something like the scent booster just really helps with our humidity and the clothes getting hot and stuff outside. It doesn't matter if it's nine o'clock at night, they're still going to smell bad. So I put something like this in here. And I reserve this to add in when I have our nice clothes or nice towels that I really want to smell good for a while. So this I do not include into the mix. 
and all I do is take everything and mix it in here together. So I'll take my scent booster. And like I said, you don't have to use this if you don't want to. And actually I'm gonna grab a second one and put a second one in here because I'm gonna do a really big batch this time. And these are small. Okay, so this was $2 for two of these. My OxyClean stuff here. Dump this in. This was a dollar. So that's we're up to three dollars. My Zoot soap, which was two dollars and change. So we'll just say three dollars. Dump that in. This I had to get at Publix this time, so it was expensive. It was five dollars. Normally it's not that expensive. But this time it was. So that takes us to $11. Baking soda, I believe, was around $3. And the washing soda was three dollars and change, so I'm gonna say four dollars, so eighteen dollars. And this is going to last me probably three months or more. Um, it just depends on um, if we go to the lake, if we have company, if I have extra bedding, if the guys bring me a bunch of shop towels. Right now, there is a big mountain of laundry on my back porch from bedding from when we had company. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sitting here inhaling dust from when we had uh, company, so I have all that to do. So, and then I just take my hands and I just work it in until everything is completely mixed. And you can use a big wooden spoon if you don't want to get your hands all in the mix. You can also put this in a big trash bag and roll it all around. I just like doing it in a bowl. Now, containers like this is what I store it in. Um, there's Dollar Tree containers that you can get, plastic containers, and I actually I have a bunch of those um, up on my top shelf that when I buy extra, because of our humidity and because I do store this stuff outside, I don't store things in boxes on the back porch. Even though it's covered and screened in, the humidity starts making the boxes soft. So I have plastic bins, a bunch of matching ones I got from Dollar Tree, put a label on the front, they're all labeled out, and whenever I buy extra, I just put those directly into the plastic containers. These containers, I just happen to have, they're like animal cracker containers, things like that. Um, I don't even remember what this was. It may have been animal crackers or something, um, but I've been just using these. Now, this is all that I have left of my last batch, and you can see that it doesn't look exactly the same. It's similar, but it's not exactly the same because I don't always use the same kind of fabric scent, uh, softener or scent booster. It's just whatever is on sale at the time. So we'll just mix this all in and yeah, sometimes you might even see little bits and pieces of pink from where I had the, um, the pink Zoat soap that I had ground that up. 
and they were out of the, the flakes, so I had ground up a couple of bars of the pink zote, or sometimes you'll even see some chunks of yellow from the, from the yellow fells naphtha. So this is all blended together really well. And I just take a cup and fill up my containers. room so that I can put my measuring cup in the top and this is a quarter cup and I use one quarter cup of this on each load that I do unless the load is just really really dirty like shop towels or we've been out mudding um, out on the four-wheelers and the clothes are just black I'll then I'll double up or triple up sometimes and then run another rinse cycle once the load is done to make sure that everything is really clean but on the whole all you need is one quarter cup of this. And you can see just how many loads I'm gonna get out of a quarter cup. So this is definitely gonna be two to three months of laundry detergent that I'm not gonna to have to um, make any more for under $14. And that is a really good deal. Um, I, like I said, I could do it cheaper. I could omit a couple of the items and make it a little bit less expensive, but I think it's worth it. Uh, to have your clothes smell really good or I could make two different batches I could do one for really soiled stuff that had no scent boosters and then one for not so soiled but I like doing it like this I don't like have to mix back and forth just make one and if I want things to smell really nice and be super soft then I'll use uh, some uh, powdered or some of these little crystal things fabric softener in my load okay guys I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful and uh, if you did, please remember to like and subscribe and give me a comment if you try it and it works. Okay, great. Guys, have a great night.